Well, as you know, San Antonio is known as Military City USA, but in the medical world, it's also known as a diabetes hotspot. Yeah, 1.6 million Americans are living with type 1 diabetes, an autoimmune disease that causes the pancreas to stop producing insulin. Our Ursula Perry reports type 1 diabetes has no cure, only treatments, but that could change for good soon, thanks to research in Houston. Sydney Stevens is a busy 12 year old. This one's for gymnastics, this one's for swimming. She does 16 hours of gymnastics, she does five hours of volleyball, she does four hours of track and field, and four hours of lacrosse, and then an hour of swimming. She does all of this while managing type 1 diabetes. This one is my pump, it gives me insulin when I'm high. Sydney monitors her glucose levels with her smartphone, and now bioengineers at Rice University are working on a new implant that would replace those monitors. We hope that we could have the body uh, regulate its own blood glucose. In type 1 diabetes, a person's own immune system attacks and kills insulin producing beta cells within the pancreas. So now researchers are growing beta stem cells in the lab. We want to now use these cells combine them with innovative tissue engineering strategies that protect them from the host immune system. This 3D printed hydrogel scaffold protects the cells that are implanted in a patient's stomach area. This mesh keeps the immune cells out and at the same time nutrients and oxygen as well as the insulin can diffuse in and out of these biomaterial constructs. Allowing the body to create and regulate its own insulin. My hope about diabetes is even if there isn't a cure, that the technology gets better every year. The researchers at Rice University say that each implant would contain a half a billion beta cells. That's how many we are born with, but in type 1 diabetes, they're all destroyed. The researchers say that right now, these implants are being tested on mice, but they're hoping to move on to human trials in the next few years. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.